Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the second video in this series comparing these two antennas, the McGill Microwave Flat Panel 10 dBi antenna and the Paradar 8 element 12.5 dBi Yagi. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is measure the SWR of both of these antennas. In the last video I tried to measure the relative um, gain of the antennas and came out with a result that I could believe now I'm going to test the SWR <clears throat> and for the reference test first of all using the ve vector network analyzer VNA I've connected my trusty modified from China antenna that I had to cut in half and then tune solder bits on and this is now optimized <clears throat> for 870 megahertz as you can see and the SWR is 1.01 .01 something or 1.02 so I think that's fairly optimal I think I did a good job of that. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is to measure the SWR of these these two antennas here. Just prove that the analyzer works for myself and that it agrees with an antenna that's optimized. So now I'm going to connect the flat panel first of all. Sorry for the wobbly camera as I do this with only two hands. So that's the McGill microwave flat panel connected to the analyzer with that small piece of cable. As you can see, the SWR is 1.16, which I think is very nice. And <clears throat> it's actually quite a wide bandwidth, unlike the uh, tuned half-wave antenna that I just put on, which is quite a narrow bandwidth, very high Q. This is uh, quite a nice wide bandwidth looking antenna. The span on the VNA is from 800 megahertz to one gigahertz. So at 870, you can see we've got 1.16. SWR that rises up um, and then goes down again, then goes up again. But it's it's very nicely tuned to 868, 870 megahertz, which is exactly what we want. It also has a, a matching point higher up. Let's just see what frequency that is up there by moving the marker. Whoops, <laughs> I have a shot in there somewhere. What have we got? 1.1 something, and the frequency is 932 megahertz. Very close to 940, the US frequency that's uh, being used for LoRa. So it may be that this antenna is actually designed to work in the EU and in the US because it's got these two nice matching points. But we're interested in this. You notice there's a sort of a knick in the curve there. I'm not quite sure why that is. I thought it might have been the coax or the adapters. I've seen things like that before. So I actually did plug the analyzer directly into this adapter without the coax and it was still there. So that's something else. Um, I wonder if anybody's going to x-ray one of these antennas. I'd love to see what's inside it. And I'm not going to take it all apart because there's just too many screws to take out, put back in again all around. But uh, maybe I'll take it through the airport security check and let them x-ray it for me and <laughs> see if I can get away with that. So that's uh, a nice match at 868 megahertz. Very nice. Better than some of those other um, <laughs> outdoor antennas I was testing, which are way off. Um, this is really as you can see, designed for 868. So let's try the um, the other antenna, the Paradar Yagi antenna. Let's see if I can connect it up with one hand. This is not easy. I remember when SMA connectors, you had to wear gloves to touch them and you had to use a special <coughs> torque wrench thing so you didn't over tighten them and you weren't allowed to scratch the faces by rotating them. But I think these cheap things from China, nobody cares and you just, <laughs> Yeah, never mind. I don't think they're even gold plated, they're gold coloured. Anyway, what do we got here? This is the Yagi antenna and look at that. <clears throat> the SWR is very low across the whole range from 800 megahertz to 1 gigahertz. It's uh, about 1.2 ish, 1.2 something. And of course it's not a fair test because the antenna is pointing at a window <clears throat> and that window probably has some kind of glass coating on it, a uh, metal coating on it to keep out the UV and that metal coating is going to reflect signal that's radiated from the antenna back into the antenna and through and will appear as a reflected signal at the um, the feed point. So that will affect the SWR, making it look worse than it really is. Let me just move this cable out of the way. So it's a very unfair test. Probably the SWR is better than that in free space. And maybe when the weather gets better, I'll take all this gear outside and try it outside. So one point two something, that's, um, that's amazing. Let's just have a look at this over a wider frequency range without using the little stylus. What am I looking for? Recall, not preset like on the spectrum analyzer. So, oops. so oh, I've got it. 
<clears throat> so there we are. This is what the SWR curve looks like from 50 kilohertz, which is as low as this VNA goes, up to 1.5 gigahertz, which is as high as it goes. And as you can see, the marker there is still at 870 the me megahertz, the frequency of interest. But this this is really nice. I mean, it's, uh, we were looking just at that part of the curve on the previous shot, and now you can see it over uh, 0 to 1.5 gigahertz frequency range. And this is um, really well matched at quite a wide bandwidth of frequencies. So um, it's, uh, it's a well-designed antenna. In fact, it looks like a bandpass filter, um, apart from these wiggly bits over here. It really uh, it looks really, really nice and uh, quite flat in here. Um, the first lineup is 2 to 1 SWR, that's 1 to 1, so it's, it's always less than 1.5 to 1. Um, the center frequency, yeah, we're, perhaps we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> anyway, it's around 868, and uh, that's where it's, it's working. Um, it's interesting to note that this big peak up here with a very, very nasty SWR is actually around 1.3 gigahertz, which is um, an indication this is definitely not designed for 23 centimeters transmission and reception. It's, it's the worst. There's a, another dip up here, but let's not worry about that. So there's um, a really good match there. So that's my quick comparison for the McGill Microwave um, flat panel and the Paradar Yagi. And I think you agree that both of these antennas look like they're, they're really well designed and well matched. Nice quality. And the gain tests in the previous video I did also seem to add up. And it seemed, they seem to do what's written on the can, as some people say. So um, I'm very happy with these two antennas. I look forward to using them on Meshtastic. I'm going to put them back on the air sometime later today because uh, all my nodes are switched off to stop strong signals interfering with these measurements. So uh, if there are any users in Brighton that were relaying signals, via my notes. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, it's coming back soon. So thank you for watching the video. Please remember to like and make comments, ask questions. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.